And um, let's get started. I'm starting to record. Soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count. Holding to a four count. And exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, if this feels comfortable, place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts. I'll be using a bolster and my block if you have those. Um, it's nice to be able to do so. Again, foam blocks are so much more comfortable under your head as well, not just um, for everything else we do under your backs and everything. Breathing into a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. As you breathe, breathe in through the belly up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies. As though you're wringing water from a washcloth bringing navel into spine. So let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, deeper and deeper into this state of calm, 
knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Feel that intention with one deep inhale and one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale as we roll over onto the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Slowly inhale as you come up to seated. And then from here, extend those legs out in front of you. I'm going to be doing it the opposite direction because we're going to do a few other exercises starting in Dandasana. So make sure that you're up on that bolster if you'd like to be. Sitting with your feet flexed. I need to adjust this so you can see my feet, sorry. There we go. Sitting with your feet flexed at a 90 degree angle. Good job. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, as you fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 as you do, place those hands on either side, calves, inhale, halfway up. And then exhale, as you draw yourself downward, chin to shin, shoulders back and down, and then just melt into Dandasana. Again, we'll be here for about three minutes. Allow that fascia to open, breathing in and out. As you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. And as you breathe out, breathe that resistance out.
Let's take two more deep breaths here in Dandasana. And slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend your left knee, drawing that left heel to your sit bone. Flex your right foot. Inhale both arms up. Exhale down, reach, 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 chin to chin. And then just melt in half dandasana. Again, we'll be here for three minutes, allowing the fascia to open, breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that knee to center. Flex your foot. Good job. Let's go ahead and cross that leg over. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale as you draw that elbow over to the left side of your knee. Open up to the back of the room. We're twisting, breathing in and out, sitting up straight, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. So this is the Marici twist, breathing in and out. Holding in longer than we normally do. Breathing in again. Use your breath.
Take two more deep breaths here. Then slowly inhale back to center. And then from here, place that right hand down, grab on to your left, or excuse me, to your right foot with your left hand. And either stay here. This is the king of fishes. It's half king of fishes here. Or if you'd like to place that elbow down and come down. And breathe, breathe into this. Opening up that whole left side. And half king of fishes. And keep breathing, opening up those left obliques as much as possible as you're doing so. Take two more deep breaths here, in and out, in half king of fishes. And then slowly inhale as we work our way back up again. Good job. Exhale as you extend that leg and shake it out. Good job. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend that right leg. Drawing your heel to your sit bone, flex that left foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. And then just melt chin to shin. We're in half dandasana. I have to tell a story while we're staying here. It's very exciting. One of the kids who was on Morgan's cheerleading squad wrote about how much he cared about him. This is 11 years after. It was just such a nice message to see. And I went to his Facebook profile just to see if he had any pictures of the cheerleading. Turns out that he has on his profile the video that was made to apply to be a part of Paula Abdul's Raw, which was a television show that only lasted one season, but it was college uh, cheerleading squads that competed against each other um, to win first place. Um, the U of A didn't win. They came in fourth, I believe but they got to go to New York for the finals um, and competed in New York City, which was very exciting. The University of Hawaii ended up winning. But anyway, the tryout video was amazing. They had all of the kids speak. They were talking about themselves and about what makes them special. And, Morgan in the video speaks in English and in French and then in Chinese as well. And he also does a backflip, um, which is spotted by two other people. He, I know that he really hurt his shoulder trying to do that. Six foot six and 280 pounds, not an easy thing to do. But, um, has all of their workout routines. It has the place they worked out. It has all of these incredible videos of the U of A performing their routines at games and watching him running around the stadium carrying the huge flag. And every time that they scored a, foot, uh, a touchdown, they would do that. So it was such a gift 
and it was just perfect for the holiday season. And I just wanted to share that with you, how exciting that kind of thing can be. Let's go ahead and take two more deep breaths. And then slowly walk those hands back. Job. Exhale as you draw that knee to center. Let's go ahead again. Cross that foot over that left knee. Inhale. Let's place our right hand down. Inhale that left arm all the way up. Exhale and place it on the outside of that right knee. Open up to the back of the room. A reachy twist. Breathing in and out, releasing toxins as we do so. Yes, I am. The really fun thing about these tryout yes, teams was that I was able to see all of the other kids that Morgan spent so much time with. Yes, the They're all just absolutely way. wonderful. So, it was, it was yes, really a wonderful way. thing to be able to watch this. Yes, Again, we're holding this twist a little bit longer today in the skin yoga. Remember to breathe. Your breath is your power. It allows you to eliminate those toxins, release them. Let's take two more deep breaths here in the Marici twist. And slowly inhale. As you come back to center, place that left hand down. Grab onto your left foot with your right hand. And possibly come down onto that elbow if this is your practice. This is half king of fishes. Opening up that whole right side of your body, those right obliques, reach yeah, into them as you do this. And we're also breathing into our kidneys, sending them the breath as we do so. Let's take two more deep breaths here. And slowly inhale as you come back up to center. Exhale as you extend that leg and shake it out. Good job. And from here, we're going to move into hero, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So I'm going to turn so that you guys can see me a little bit better. If you would like to place that bolster behind you, Zero can be done either with or without the bolster. The bolster makes it a little bit gentler. Having that block at the end for your head as well. Inhale first. Exhale as we bend that knee. Drawing that foot beside us, flex your right foot. Inhale both arms up. Exhale. As you draw those hands behind you, placing your fingertips, sorry, I'm yelling, <laughs> facing your hips, 
and then slowly walk down as far as you can. You might be on your elbows. You might stay on those hands if you'd like to. And you might come all the way down onto your backs. Wherever you are is perfect. Breathing in and out. If you'd like to move into the Utita, that's also fine. Again, if this is impossible for you, you can also be on your bellies, bending that left knee and grabbing onto it with your left hand. It's also possible to put a strap around that ankle and pull that heel in. Again, we're going to be here for a little, a little bit of time. Make sure that when you go back, if you're on your hands or on your elbows, don't allow your head to pop back. Keep your neck safe and breathe. Again, I always have to remind people that the people who have the hardest time with hero are the ones who have worked out all their lives. So don't feel badly if you're not able to get all the way down. Wherever you are is perfect. Breathing in. as you press those elbows into the mat, exhale as you move forward, sitting up straight, extend that left leg and shake it out. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and bend it once again because we're going to do a revolving position here. So take that right hand, or left hand, sorry, grab on to the right side of your right foot, keep that right hand back, or come forward onto your elbow and breathe. And this is Revolve Hero, breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you come back up. Exhale now. Let's go ahead and extend that left leg. Shake it out. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend that right knee. Placing your toes underneath your hip crease. Keep that left foot flexed. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you Draw those fingertips back so that they're facing your hips. Palms and your hands are on the mat. You can either stay here or move down onto your elbows. Or possibly all the way down onto your backs. Inhale, hero. Again, if this is too uncomfortable, you can move onto your bellies. Maybe draw those arms up overhead in the Utita if this is in your practice, and breathe. Breathing in and out, and half hero.
Let's take two more deep breaths here in and out. Then inhale as you press those elbows into the mat. Exhale as you up again. Inhale as you grab on to the outside of that left foot. Placing that right hand down, twisting. Possibly placing that elbow down. In revolved hero. Breathing in and out. Opening up those right obliques as much as you can. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend that right leg and shake it out. Inhale first, then exhale as you bend both knees. This is full hero. Again, you can be on your bellies if you'd like to. That's also possible. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you draw those fingertips back so that they're facing your hips. Again, you can stay right here or you can move down onto your elbows or all the way down onto your backs. Whatever you are is perfect. Maybe drawing those arms up overhead in Utita. Breathing in and out. In full hero. Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out. And slowly inhale as you push those elbows to the mat. Exhale as you extend those legs in front of you. Shake them up. Good job. Coming up to the tops of our mats into Kasmana. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that right leg. Now keep that right hand on your calf or as far as far over as you like to. Inhale, that left arm up and over. Find those right toes. This is gatekeeper. As far as you can, breathing in and out. Again, opening those left obliques as we do. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that right knee. Inhale first. Exhale as you 
extend that left leg. Slide that left hand down. Inhale that right arm up and over. Find those left toes if this is in your practice. And you keep her breathing in and out. Again, opening up those right over. Inhale as you come back up again. Good job. Exhale as you bend that knee. Drawing that foot in. Place your fingertips on the mat. Inhale that right arm up and over. Find that left ear and gently tug your head over to the right. Keeping those left fingertips on the mat. And breathe. Inhale that right arm all the way up. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm up. Grab your head. Find that right ear and exhale over to the left. Keep those right fingertips on the mat. Don't go too far. And breathe. Inhale, that left arm all the way up. Exhale down. Good job. Coming up to the tops of the mats. Let's go ahead and bend our knees. Arms are out on either side. Make sure that you have your block handy. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Down to the mat. Draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your knees. Maybe grab opposite elbows and pull those knees in as much as you can. Place your heels just below your sit bones. Take your walking hand, inhale. As you push those hips up towards the ceiling, place your block under your sacrum on the highest, the second, or the third levels. We're in a supported bridge. I'm going to stay right here, but if you'd like to, you can walk those heels out or draw those arms overhead in a T formation. Wherever you are is perfect. Up that lower back, breathing in and down as we do. Naturally stimulating our thyroid gland as we draw it in towards our chest. Slowly inhale as we push our hips up and release the block. Exhale, inch by inch down again. Draw those knees in for a hug again. Good job. Let's place our heels below our sit bones once again. Push those hips up and place our block underneath our sacrum. This time it's on the lowest level. Draw those legs up above you in a supported leg straight up, allowing the circulation to come back down to our vital organs, back down to our brain in this inversion.
And again, these inversions are so important. It's good to do inversions every day, making sure that you do them if possible right before you go to sleep because they help you stay asleep. They help us to stay young, help us from getting varicose veins, help us from having swollen ankles and swollen toes when we're flying, which isn't very frequent anymore. Again, breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you bend those knees. Exhale as you place them on the mat. Push those hips up. Release the block. Exhale down again. Draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Inhale that right arm up overhead. Exhale as you push that right knee over to the left. Good job. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend that left knee, grabbing on to that left ankle. If this is in your practice, flattening out your back. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that right leg, maybe grabbing on to those right toes. You can grab on to your right thigh, your right calf, your right ankle, or your toes. Wherever you are, it's perfect. Again, flattening out your backs, breathing in and out. Those knees to center once again. Maybe 
rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Inhale through your nose and side out. Inhale. One more time. Inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso. Palms are up to receive, down to ground. Starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torso, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads, relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. And exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your knees. Slowly roll over to the right side in the field position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed. Hands are Anjali Mudra. Heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice in yoga with me today on this beautiful Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you. And again, have a great day. So good to see everybody. Stop recording.